Hello and welcome to The Shane Phillips Show. All my life, I've been fascinated by those individuals who rise to greatness. While some of us go on to the apex of our professions, most of us struggle to find our stride. Why is that, you ask? Well, my humble opinion is because we are given false information about what it takes to be successful in business. Misled and misguided, you are almost doomed before you even begin. That sounds a bit harsh. I'm not sure we're fed a bed of lies, you say. Well, let's look at a few simple concepts and get to the bottom of this. If I ask you who is the king of the jungle, you invariably say the lion is the king of the jungle. But lions don't live in jungles, they live in the grassy plains of Africa. Tigers live in jungles. How could the lion be the king of a place it's never been to, nor can it survive in? The point is, if I can show you that society's been presenting you with false information for most of your life, do not think it's plausible that some of the information you have about managing your career is also false? Over the next 30 minutes, we're gonna challenge your ideas about what it takes to be successful. So join me as we unearth the secrets to success in the Middle East. Many people think if they want to be rich, if they want to be successful, they have to come from the right school or be from the right family or have the right amount of startup capital. But in fact, that's all a lie. Two thirds of the world's billionaires are self-made. And today we look at one of Dubai's greatest success stories, the story of Lenny Day and smashing cleaning services. I was 19 when I decided to leave Philippines and work first in Brunei, coming from a poor family, so that's my um, ambition to leave the country so I could support my family. Starting out with very humble beginnings, Lenny left the safety of her home country and took an entry-level job in Abu Dhabi with the hope she could make a better life for herself. Initially, her pay was barely enough to sustain her Despite the low wages and tough conditions, she managed to save money and even send something home to her family in the Philippines. When we moved to Dubai and I had a two-year break, I said to James, my husband, that I want to go back to work. He suggested rather than working for somebody, then why don't we start the uh, company like window cleaning? When we have done our own window cleaning from other company, um, you know, I saw them, how they're doing it, and it's not a satisfactory, and I said, we can do it. So you made the first flyers, and your kids, I believe, helped you cut them. Yes, and uh, we started, as I said, with the photocopier, and my children at the time, they're five, I think, and seven years old. So the three of us, the older two of them, they start helping us by, as you said, they cut the photocopy in the evening. After that, we start knocking on the door, like uh, James, that time, I'm just driving my, you know, my, my son and uh, place to place. James will go, let's say, in Jumeirah one, and then and me and Jumeirah too. So we just give him flyers, especially when you're knocking on the door, like the beauty salon, because there's some beauty. I'm afraid to, or shy to, you know, to say I'm a window cleaning company. So, but uh, fortunately, we got some good feedback. While HP, Apple, and Disney may have started in a garage, Lenny started her business simply walking door to door with her kids in hand to acquire her first few customers. Today, she's ranked as one of the top businesses in Dubai and is raking in the awards. You innovated in the prices basically you were cleaning windows and then you moved to cleaning signboards. That's what make us also uh, the company or the smashing when, uh, went up with the sales, which they do all the signboard on Sheikh Side Road and the sign hoarding which is in Burt's uh, Khalifa. And uh, we have that contract, open contract. So I have an open list that I drive on Sheikh Side Road, find out all the signboard and make a report and submit the program of the scheduling. I think part of it was you created the core company, you pushed through the tough times, you didn't give up, and then you slightly innovated 
within your product line using the same capabilities, cleaning windows, and then you diversified. Into more technical activities. Because that time, Dubai municipality implemented water tank cleaning, which become a legislation. So we studied that one, and then uh, we said, okay, let's, let's do it. But in doing that, you have to go for a training. So you can get all the certification also that your technicians are certified. Even myself, I'm certified to do water tank because I went on an actual training and taking examination also. In you climb inside the tank or? Yeah. I go on the roof, I climb on the ladder on the roof. In your mind, what makes a successful business or what are the key tenets of a successful business? For me, I think uh, being passionate, hands-on on the job, and you need to be you know, true to yourself. We say yes when we can do the job only. Teamwork with your staff and even our, uh, the, as you can say, the lowest position, the technicians. It's like a family atmosphere and uh, it's open, you know. So I think that's a success in running a business to keep also your staff. Our job is intense, you know. The service we're providing to the client, it's all been seen like we clean the windows or, or cleaning house or water, water tank, not much. But it's, it's, you know, like you clean this table, you come, oh, there is a dirt in here. So it's, 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 it's a very intense job. So what we do also, we train our staff, our technicians. Training is very important, yeah. What's your advice to anybody who wants to have a successful business as successful as you've had or to start their own business. Do it yourself, so you will understand more about the business. And um, although cleaning is not, I don't think a lot of people would like to do cleaning for somebody's house, but I did it myself. Cleaning somebody's toilet, cleaning somebody's kitchen. So I can show that to the team as well. Faith is as important and, uh, you know, um, believing in yourself that you can, you can do it. Coming up, the story of a man who failed so badly, he was left bankrupt and homeless, sleeping on the floor with his young child and wife, only to rise up and build a billion dollar business from scratch. This is the story of Yogesh Mehta, the founder of Petrochem, the largest chemical trader in the entire Middle East.